Hello everybody, my name is Ghosty, and like many people, I grew up with Minecraft mods, and I was in love with dinosaurs. So, naturally, the first time I saw dinosaurs in Minecraft, my head went... But, my first dinosaur mod was the Fossils and Archaeology mod. I was entranced. I didn't have Java Minecraft then, though, and wouldn't for a while, but eventually I did, and I could make all the mod packs I wanted. So, naturally, I have quite a few with this particular mod in it. It holds a very special place in my heart. And so, of course, I would look at the wiki to, you know, learn, learn wiki things, which has the f official Fossils and Archaeology Discord, which, of course, I'm joining. A few months goes by, baller, but then... A building competition. This was my chance. We had to build a park containing these dinosaurs in single player with only these mods in 1.12.2 with no help, no building tutorials in one week. I immediately locked in, booted up the mods, loaded up the first world, and it was absolute gold, with mountains ringing the entire thing. I got to work. And this... This is my creation. Hello judges, my name is Ghosty, um, I just wanted to, I know I already submitted my part, but I wanted to make a quick video just to explain the amount of detail, because my brain was like, well, what if they miss details? I can't let that happen, because I put too many in. Um, so yeah, first, first this is just our, our bridge to get into the park, and we have, you know, a little viewing deck where you can see, like, at least half of the park, but you know. We'll just keep ourselves going. Uh, this is just a chest that's basically like, I love the mod, and I hope you pay attention to detail. You know. And we have ourselves a map. Yippee. Very good map. And signs like these are all over the park, so we can see Skeletal Strip is that way, and, you know, the lab. We'll start with the lab. And I, I did design the park so that you can either go this way, or you can go this way, and it that doesn't matter because it's a loop so we'll just start with the lab so we've got analytics you know computers yippee that sort of thing culturing uh incubation i'm really proud of that lamp design because the eggs are kept cold but you're not using an actual light but, but the carpet just works so well for that and we've got ourselves a gift shop where you can buy model skeletons skeleton onesies posters and fossils and everything super expensive because it, of course it would be um there's a bathroom yay and so this is one of the details that i was very very proud of i basically made a garden where and i i did my research okay so i did research for when all of the plants evolved and when they disappeared so this is just like a visual representation of plant history as shown by the mod just because i was like well plants plants they get they get too much they they don't get talked about enough but plants are so cool i love i love the plants they've got some dilophius i completely butchered that but yeah uh plants i like plants and we're just gonna go back really quick because I'll show you the herbivore habitat where you can say hello to Billy the Brachiosaurus. Yay. Uh, Brachiosaurus lived, you know. We've got facts all over. Also, the dinosaurs are really dumb and they don't eat from the feeders, which was causing me, you know. But, you know, Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus, Parasaurolophus, yippee. Um, we've got when Parasaurolophus lived, we've got when Gallimimus lived, it would have seen the extinction event, but yeah, we've got some, we, we get to see some of those. And right before the Confucius Hornus, I added a wingspan checker, because I love those. It's like a, wow, how do I measure up? Yeah, but we, yeah, we've got a Confucius Hornus, Pteranodon, and Quetzalcoatlus. Uh, yeah, it's a good photo op. <laughs> Uh, Confucius Ornus, they're up here, we can go in and just be all like, wow, oh, there's birds, I like the birds. I love the noises they make as well. <laughs> um, and then we will go over and we will look at my, my hot dog cart. It's a good hot dog cart. 
you know, little seating area and there's benches everywhere. Another map. But yeah, these are the Smilodons. Yeah, and over here I didn't make a path, but, you know, you can see into the cave. And it's like one of those zoo exhibits where you can see into the, yeah, another bathroom. And this is my Therizinosaurus. I named it Gouda because it just suits it, <laughs> I think. And this is another map, and this is where the Sarcosuchus is. And he's all the way in this back corner. Yippee. I like the Sarcosuchus. <laughs> Um, another bathroom, more signage, you know, another map. Yes, hello! Okay. <laughs> um, this is my Velociraptor exhibit. I really enjoyed making this one. Oh, and I wanted to, one of, one of the other details I wanted to explain was that I put plants that could have lived with the dinosaur in their exhibit, see like, we've got some Dictophyllum, the Cytophyllum, in, in with the Therizinosaurus because they lived everywhere. And we've got some Wolisia, Didaphora, and you know, the other one. I did research, and I, I had to make it abundantly clear that I did research. And yeah, Velociraptors, yippee, I like it at Velociraptors. And over here, Another bench, obviously. And we've actually- I, I made a fossil dig, so this was uh, already here. And I was like, well, it's too perfect to miss out on the opportunity, so I was like, here, take a brush, you can find some fossils. Kiddos. Um... Yeah, we've got some- another fact, you can look at some fossils, and look at a tent, and I made, you know, tent- tent facts. Another bathroom, and I call this the Pterosaur Lounge. It's, we've got ourselves a pterosaur on the roof and the floor I put I think I modeled it sort of out of, out of an arch art art archaeopteryx <laughs> but it's more of just like a generic fossil um but we've got a bit of a menu there with the mammoth meatballs out you know and we've got tables out here with umbrellas because you gotta stay cool and i call this skeletal strip you know a strip of skeletons there's we've got ourselves a tyrannosaurus a stegosaurus and a kylosaurus i'm not quite as proud as, as that one and a spinosaurus and a mammoth i just wanted to you said that we could only have the mobs, but you never said that we couldn't build our own skeletons. <laughs> you know? Um, but yes, that is... That's my park. I had to... I had to make sure all the detail was getting through, because my brain... Be out. Um... Anyway, I love the mod. Keep up the good, the good work. I submitted the day of judging. The hour's upon us. It's my turn. They loved my gift shop, but get hung up on my pricing choice. I joined BC to, to defend myself. It's a dinosaur park, I say. Of course things are going to be expensive as heck. I get an 8 out of 10. The best score I'd seen so far. Then I have to go to fucking work. But I rejoined just in time to hear the judges debate their final decision for 10 frickin' minutes. I think we should give it to Spike because he used inspiration from the Australia Zoo. We should give it to Ghosty because she had charm. They vote. Finally, they've reached a consensus. I've won. I basically tell everyone to get good as my winning speech. $15 for Steam, a Discord roll, like four new friends, and victory are all mine. There will be more fossils and archaeology related content on this channel in the future because due to me winning the building competition, I was invited to something pretty, pretty, pretty exciting. And, you know, that'll come out when it comes out because I actually don't know the ETA on that. But it'll come out. Yay. Maybe. Anyway, my name is Ghosty. Have a good day. Have a good week. And 
I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Chom.